What's going on guys? I'm Michael, Michael Anthony Photography, and thank you for checking out my article in This Month Shutter Magazine. Guys, this month we're talking all about how to create an impactful image, the three most important steps to doing it, right? You have the light, the composition, and most importantly, the story, okay? In a, an impactful image, every time you guys look at one and you see an image that it just has that wow factor, typically it's gonna nail all three of these things, okay? And let's start with the light for a second. Without light, you guys don't have a, a photograph, and you have to make sure that your light is conducive to the mood that you're trying to convey in your image. For instance, if you guys are trying to create something that's like dark and dramatic, right? You obviously wanna use a lower key light, an image that's gonna be a little bit darker, more moody, and it's gonna tell a story that has a little bit more mystery to it, um, a little bit more romanticism, is that a word? I don't know. Rom romanticism? I I'm not sure, I'm sorry. Los Angeles Unified School District here. Anyway, I digress, right? You wanna make sure that your, your light is telling the proper story um, that you are trying to convey in your images, right? Uh, so what I tend to do guys in a lot of cases when it comes down to um, creating images for my clients, I'm looking for ways to find a background that's going to be a little bit darker than them. And sometimes I don't have that kind of light uh, in the scene that I'm trying to create. Obviously, if I'm shooting like a, a wider portrait and they're very small in the frame, I'm not gonna have control over every element in the scene, okay? So in that case, I might bring in off-camera flash, darken down the background a little bit and uh, make them a little bit brighter in the scene. Uh, but generally, no matter what, guys, I'm still looking for, uh, for ways to make them pop off of that scene, pop out of that background. So I'm looking for that dark background, that background that has tonalities that's gonna be a little bit darker than them. The next thing I'm trying to find with light, guys, is directional lighting. I, I do use flat light, there's a place for it. Um, a lot of our work on a wedding day, kind of the, the must have, get me done stuff, that's all gonna be flat lighting, right? But when we're trying to get creative with our clients, we're trying to tell a story, we're trying to uh, capture some emotional connections, we're using directional light. And the reason for that, I believe, is it creates a uh, dimension to your images. It's gonna make things almost pop out and become three-dimensional. Remember, when you're looking at a photograph, that's a 2D uh, medium, okay? It's a two-dimensional medium. When you add that third dimension to it, uh, it's gonna make it look more unique, more different, and more interesting, okay? Next, guys, we're talking about the, uh, the composition. Composition is really, really important in your photograph. You could have beautiful light, right? You can have a great pose. You can have even a good story, but if your composition isn't leading the viewer to, to where the, the intended story is, you're gonna have problems with the final image. Now, everybody understands the rule of thirds. I think that's probably like the first um, first photography rule that, that we all learn, I think, when we're learning professional photography, or at least a lot of us, right? Um, and that's good, yes, you should always keep that in your head, but uh, more importantly, there's other things, guys, that you can use in your compositions to help tell stories. Abstract shapes, right? Triangles, triangles are really, really good, um, a really good shape to use in your composition to create uh, interest in the subjects. Um, it also will help you when you're posing groups. We use triangles a lot for our group posing. Leading lines, obviously leading lines is a, uh, is a really, really important element. You can use lines in your scene, uh, especially if you're shooting um, landscapes or you're shooting uh, landscape portraiture uh, to lead the subject, or sorry, the viewer to your subjects in the final image. So we tend to do that quite a bit. Um, framing, maybe putting people inside of another frame. For instance, if you have a, a doorway, right? Uh, putting your, per your subject inside of the doorway. Uh, if you're shooting weddings, a lot of times you can create those triangles with the dress and then maybe frame them in an arch or something. And then you have a couple of shapes that you're working with, right? So these are all little things, guys, that you have to pay attention to before you press the shutter button. If you stop, slow down for a second, look at all of the aspects of your scene before you press that shutter button, you're gonna start seeing things that you never saw before and actually it will help you create better images for your clients. Now guys, the last thing I wanna talk about is definitely gonna be the most important, and that's gonna be your story, okay? The story is the most important element to creating that emotional connection for your clients. If your clients feel an emotional connection to their images, they're gonna hire you for more, okay? They're gonna be more likely to, uh, to look at less, uh, sorry, look at uh, not as many photographers when they're choosing you in the booking process, and it's gonna overall um, help their, help their uh, overall satisfaction with your work, right? So really important, guys, to create that emotional connection. So how do you guys do that? Let's say you're just taking a portrait, right? How about we're telling a story? Maybe the bride and groom um, you know, are getting married in a particular church. Maybe you have the groom, uh, and this is obviously after the ceremony, you have the groom at the top of the stairs and you have the bride walking up the stairs to him, right? Maybe you have the groom holding the bride's hand and leading her through a, uh, you know, a field somewhere, um, you know, showing some context to the church or to you know, the, uh, the um, 
I don't want to say getaway car, that's bank robbery, not wedding, to the, uh, to the car that's taken them away from the, uh, the actual ceremony site. Um, maybe you guys, if you're working with families, maybe you're showing the connection between a mother and a newborn, right? Maybe on a wedding day, you guys are working with families and you're showing the connection between a, a father and the groom, right? These are all important things, important elements to create uh, beautiful and impactful images, okay? If you're talking photojournalistic work, a lot of times you don't have control over the light, but if you can nail the light, if let's just say you have good light or you're using your off-camera flash and then you get that composition and then you capture that moment because you shot through the important moments leading up to and after that one, one decisive moment that looked amazing in frame, it's going to help you sell a lot of photos and help you to become a much better storyteller, guys. Um, that's all that I got for you today. I, I am really excited for what we have going on in the next couple of months um, in terms of the, uh, the articles that we have coming up. Uh, thank you guys all for uh, checking out our article and uh, for continuing to read and support us. I really do appreciate it, guys. I can't wait to talk to you guys and catch you next month in Shutter Magazine. Thanks, for, thanks a lot.